Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Secretary Chu, good to see you here this morning. Thank you for uh, visiting the uh, Hanford site and the bit plant specifically. Uh, and obviously, you know that it is one of the most uh, complex and largest contaminated uh, sites in the world. And uh, our concerns about making sure we continue to get cleanup uh, done in a timely fashion is of critical importance, uh, not just to the state of Washington, but to the nation. Um, are you confident with this uh, level of funding that we will uh, have that plant open and operational in 2019? Well, Senator, um, again, within the budget constraints, uh, we're essentially working hard to keep the environmental management budget uh, essentially flat. It went down a fraction of a percent, but 0.7 percent, but essentially flat. And we are trying very hard to make some tough decisions. There is protection of the Columbia River, the waste plant, uh, the tanks, and and uh, uh, WTP. So we uh, first. Uh, feel that we're going to meet all our, oblig our legal obligations for FY13 with this budget. But uh, as you know, and I, I, I sp spoke to you about this, um, uh, that there was a, an ideal funding profile for the completion of the WTP plant, the vitrification plant, would call for um, more aggressive sp spending uh, this year, next year, and the following years. Uh, so that you, just like in a commercial building, when you build a building, you don't mess around. You, if you got it engineered, you build it, you build it very quickly. Uh, that funding profile um, is uh, not in the cards anymore because of our budgets. And so because of that, we know that there is a risk that that could slip schedule. But on the flip side, we are also have to prioritize and we have to make sure that the, uh, the waste tank farms are care for as well. And so it's a, it's a tough decision. Um, and as you well know, we take these responsibilities very seriously. So 2019, that's your... Well, we, 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 we can't say right now, but, but uh, because there's... Um, uh, we're working through uh, some of the issues. We have a plan, a program for testing, uh, for example, the so-called pulse jet mixing, things of that nature that perhaps Two or three years ago, we we uh, felt that it, we we've determined uh, with the uh, uh, defense and the board others that uh, it, it would be prudent to go through a more comprehensive testing. Uh, so we we acknowledge that, and so these are some of the issues uh, on this very very complex project. This is, uh, in my mind, uh, the most complex nuclear project that the world has undertaken, let alone the United States. Uh, um, I couldn't agree more, and that's why, you know, when some of the questions have been raised about the VIT plant, do you think we have the right oversight on the, you know, issues that have been brought up by whistleblowers? Because obviously once the plant goes operational, you can't fix any, you know, it's too hot to fix structural yeah. issues, so. I think we've worked very hard, uh, both the Deputy Secretary and I have worked very hard uh, to make sure that we have uh, essentially our A team in place uh, in the direct oversight of, of, the, uh, of the contractors, uh, of Bechtel. Uh, uh, Dale Knudsen is uh, a truly outstanding project manager, uh, has had a long track record. Uh, we were able to talk him into doing this. We have a new uh, head of the Office of River Protection. We have a lot of Scott Samuelson we have a lot of respect for. Um, uh, Dave Heisinga, again, uh, a superb manager person who uh, is, so all the way up and down the chain, uh, we uh, are put in place of what we believe are very, is a very good team. Um, and, and because of the importance of this project, um, uh, a lot of these discussions uh, go right into my office. Uh, I, I've spoken to uh, the CEO of the head contractor, Bechtel, Riley Bechtel, uh, probably now four times in my office uh, on, on making sure that uh, he too has a, an A team uh, as the contractor. And from, from my discussions with the people on the ground, uh, uh, they say that uh, Bechtel has also uh, been doing their job in trying to get 
uh, the right people there. Thank you to that level of detail, because I think that is what it takes. I've often said you should make the energy secretary for life or until Hanford is cleaned up, just so that we don't continue to change horses in the stream. So, But can I get your viewpoints on um, whether we can dispose of military waste first. What we don't want is Hanford to become a de facto site for 90% of the storage. And you know, the commission was in here, Blue Ribbon Commission a few weeks ago. Uh, Senator Domenici um, basically threw out on the table, my colleague, Senator Wyden, got him talking about this and I tried to follow up about whether the waste isolation plant in New Mexico might be an ideal place for Hanford waste. So do you have a, do you agree with him on that? Well, first, uh, we're going to keep separate the, the civilian and the nuclear waste issues. I think they're, they're you know, that we, uh, it'd be prudent to, to, to treat it differently. And um, we are considering, uh, I'm not sure where in the status of, of but the WIP, uh, first, it's, it's for low la level radioactive waste. Um, and so one would need to uh, do some studies to make sure that uh, that would be safe for the high-level waste, and, and so we would need to do something along those lines. But but I'm glad you pointed up WIP because this is um, this is a, a success story. It's been there operating for about a dozen years. Um, uh, there have been no incidents. Uh, the local people are. Uh, Feel confident that we can. We're running this in a very safe uh, way, and it's um, and it's good for the local economy. It's good for the economy of the state of New Mexico. And so, again, this is something where uh, it, we can show that we can uh, develop repositories for nuclear waste, uh, which have the acceptance of the local people. Well, if I could get a more follow up with you on the details of that, sure. I'd appreciate it. And also on the thousand acres we're trying to get shifted over from DOE, you know, as the cleanup goes on, shifting over uh, acreage to the local community there for energy parks in general. I think it's a proposal that's moving its way through, but if we could follow up on both of those, thank you. Thanks. Thank you, Mr. Chairman.